Most people in America expect one thing when they receive a donation. The donation value that they see in front of them is what they expect to find when they go back to their pocket. Today I received a $5 donation from a child. His mother was standing right there and I spent a little time talking to the fellow. I showed him a little bit about pictographs in Japanese which showing the difference between a tree and woods and forest and how easy it is to understand Japanese. At the same time I played the mother with the characters of Japan so that she could maybe learn a little bit of words for her son. She explained that he was shy. What I'm curious about is whether or not she is practicing a form of child abuse in which she provided me the five dollars. I did fold it and put it in my pocket at the Lord's discretion. But when I went to go shopping it ended up being twenty dollars. I don't like the fact that people like to play mind manipulative games. We definitely know that the mind can be mapped but I'm not going to be remapped into anything I don't want to be or anything the Lord does not want me to be. It is immoral for people to do this and is absolutely immoral for a fat woman to think she's going to have a prey and a playtime on a man who does not want her. I am not interested in any other than three women at this time, and I have the right to pick and choose who the fuck I want to be with. At the same time, they have the right to choose whether or not they can tolerate me, I suppose, but the bottom line is that they did come and play with me today. The problem is that people think that we should have to get up and run after someone, and that is not the way a man works. Once a man has made his statement, it's a girl's job to come and speak with him like a mature woman and have the conversation. I made an invitation across three networks, and those three networks are not in the spirit world, they're in the real world. And the real world of men is not a stupid little game, and it's not something to be played with by other people. What we know is that women can be manipulated in the mind, what we know is men can be manipulated all the time, what we know is that there are people who practice all kinds of illustrative science. And I am not interested in being an illustrative science project. What I do know is that a Muslim in a jail rerouted things internally on me, and I am fucking pissed off. A man should not have blood in his urine, but he does today, thanks to that man. And at this time, we do not need Muslims in America. No offense to you if you came from India or if you're an American citizen with that background. But when you choose to speak Farsi in front of me, you're choosing to lie to yourself about what is expected in America. I realized that I spoke Japanese with my family, but we did it as a flight to say it's time to go. We did not ever do it in a way unless we were in a room fighting for our son's right to it could be offensive to anyone. I did find that the girl who was translating for the other side was not as good as me and was not interested in, in translating the emotionality of the parents despite the fact that she had communicated all that before time. Now let's be real. This is America and we have to put a stop to the illustrative sciences that think you have the right to commandeer a body, ruin a life, and destroy a person's rights. You may not play me, you may not interfere with me, you not, may not do things to me, but I do have interests in several women, and one of them is someone who's a, who's a relatively new author, who's gotten some accolades, but her content is spiraling out of control, and I can fix that for her in a matter of seconds. But people have to be willing to give people a chance. No matter what a person looks like, no matter what a person feels like, no matter what a person talks about, what they talk about in one moment of time for their business is not what they're going to talk about the next moment. Because all clients are different. All clients have different needs. All clients are different in their souls.